it's okay today we are solving a question x square minus y square equals 121 and the value of x and y is what the first thing we're gonna do is to expand this left hand side which i call step number one expand x square minus y square by math identity quickly remember one of the identities when we have a plus b or square you remember it's going to be a plus b then another a plus b and by the expansion that is a times a then a times b then b times a then b times b it's going to be a square plus 2ab plus b square you also remember as well when we have a minus b all square it's going to be repeatedly written a minus b then another a minus b and then the expansion is going to be a square minus 2ab then plus b square and the one we're going to need is just this one when we have an opposite sign that is we have a minus b then a plus b then equals a square minus b square therefore this right hand side is also the same thing as this left hand side and if we check properly where we can see that this format x square minus y square is exactly this format that we have here a square minus b square so we're going to need to write this the left hand side of a square minus b square in terms of x and y definitely the expansion becomes x minus y then x plus y equals 121 actually what does this mean in my mind it means you multiply two identity two things together and you get 121 so whichever way it is arranged we can have plus a then minus a we can have minus a then half plus a whichever way it is arranged is still the same thing therefore i choose to have plus a then minus a and the next thing we're going to do is what i call step number two observe that x plus y is greater or equal to x minus y that is x plus y is greater or equal to x minus y so this is reasonable why because we have addition sign here then we have minus sign here so there is tendency that uh, whatever that is here x minus y is going to be lower or equal to that is x plus y that is x plus y is meant to be greater because of the additional sign that is there down x minus y is either it is greater or equal and that reminds me note that x and y are positive integers so we just considering the positive integers of x and y only therefore because of that x plus y greater or equal to x minus y is valid with this condition x and y are positive integer so for instance if x equals 2 then y equals 1 or better still we just say x is 3 and uh, y is 2 this means if x is 3 we have 3 plus if y is 2 we have 2 and if you put that together it's going to be what it's going to be 5 and for the same condition x is also 3 is still the same thing as 3 minus y that is 2 then if you put that together we're going to get 1 so definitely 5 is greater than 1 and this has made this condition valid also let's say if x is equal to 5 and y equals to 0 based on this condition we have 5 plus 0 that is x plus y for x minus y we're going to have 5 minus 0 at the end of this addition we're going to have 5 here that is that then 5 minus 0 we still gonna have 5 here in which 5 equals 5 which makes the same condition valid that is greater than or equal you can see 5 equals 5 here then 5 greater than 1 here so when we say x plus y and y x minus y so is either x plus y is greater than x minus y or x plus y is equal to x minus y and at the same time as well for the father, we multiply two things together and we get 121. We're going to look for two numbers in which if we multiply each other and we're going to get 121. So, what are those two numbers? If we multiply them together, you're going to get 121. They are 121 multiplied by 1. Definitely, it's going to give me 121. Then, 1 times 121. Also, this will surely give me 121. And as well, I'm not going to forget 11 multiplied by 11 definitely is going to give me 121 so these are the integers that is the positive integers i mean the real number that's going to give me 121 if i multiply them together and this is where i'm going to need this condition
so i'm going to choose the one that is confirmed with greater than then at the same time the one that is confirmed with equals to from all this listed multiplication i did and because 121 is greater than one so this is greater than this so i'm going to confirm this i'm not going to pick this because one is less than 121 but my condition that i stated here is greater than so i'm not going to pick the second one but what of the third one is to confirm with my condition because 11 is also equal to 11 so 11 here is also the same thing as equal to 11 here so because of that i'm going to go for this also therefore this second one is going to be plain of in which i have to concentrate on just these two therefore this is going to be condition number one and this is going to be condition number two the next thing i'm going to do is just pick them one by one so what am i going to do next is to equate this left hand side expression with all this listed condition here condition one and condition two one by one then i'm going to have x plus y is going to be equal to 121 then x minus y is going to be equal to one that is x plus y is going to be equal to 121 then x minus y is going to be equal to one and i'm going to solve this by simultaneous method because i have two equations here already and if i use elimination method i'm going to add the left hand side together that is x plus x that is plus y plus minus y you know how it together then i'm going to have 121 plus 1. x plus x is going to be 2x plus y plus minus y is going to be nothing here is zero then 121 plus 1 is going to be 122 then the next thing I'm going to do is just to divide both sides by 2 so that I can have the value of my x here by 2. This is going to go for this. At the end of the day, the value of x is 61. We can now substitute the value of x here, which is 61. So we can say 61 plus y is equal to 121. Then y is going to be equal to 121 minus 61. Therefore, y is going to be equal to 60. Hence, x is equal to 61 here, y, y is equal to 60 here. Don't forget, that is for condition 1. Then, if we go to condition 2, what are we going to have? 11 multiplied by another 11, then equals 131. So, x plus y is going to be 11, then x minus y is going to be equated to 11, then equals to 121. Remember that the first condition is 121 multiplied by 1, and which is 121, and the value of x is 61, value of y is 60. Then we are uh, exactly at condition number 2, where we have 11 multiplied by another 11, and it's 121. Now we're going to have x plus y equals 11, that is equation 1, and at the same time, x minus y also equals to 11. And we're going to solve this simultaneously using elimination method. We're going to have x plus x, then we're going to have plus y plus minus y, then we're going to have 11 plus 11. If we do that carefully, it's going to be 2x. If we do that carefully, we're going to have nothing here because plus y plus minus y is going to give me nothing here. And we have equals to uh, 11 plus 11, that is 22. In order to have the value of my hex here, I'm going to divide both sides by 2, divide both sides by 2. And if I do that carefully, 2 goes here, 2 goes here, that's going to be 1, 1. Then two go cell one, then two go cell. That's gonna be eleven. Definitely, the value of x here is exactly eleven. Finally, to find the value of y, we're gonna substitute the value of x, which is eleven, back into the equation one. So instead of having x here, we're gonna have eleven here, which is eleven plus y equals the same eleven. Therefore, the value of m is gonna be eleven minus eleven, which is equal to zero. So my y is just gonna be zero. Remember with this condition 2, the value of x is 11 while the value of y is 0. For the second condition, x equals to 11 while y equals to 0. And that is exactly what we have here. For condition 1, x is 61, y is 60. For condition 2, x is 11 and y is 0. That is exactly the final answer. Just before we go, somebody might need to verify what we get for the value of x and y that was going to take us to the beginning of the question x squared minus y squared equals to 21 so we might need to verify this what we're going to do here to verify is to insert 61 for the value of x whatever we find the x rises to 1 
and whatever we see y we're going to write 60 and at the end of the day we're going to see if this left hand side is actually going to be equal to this right hand side if it is then it is verified so for me to write x square i'm going to write 61 square minus for me to write y square i'm not going to write that i'm going to write 60 square then i'm going to do this and see if this is going to be exactly 121 or not I have 3,721 minus 3,600, which is the value of 60 squared. Then if I do the subtraction here, I'm going to have 121, uh, which is exactly what is at the right hand side, 121. So 121 equals 121. Now for the second condition, x is equal to 11. Instead of writing x squared, I'm going to write 11 square minus, then y equals 0. Instead of writing y squared, I'm going to write 0 square and see if i'm going to have 121 and if i do this definitely i have 121 here and which is also the same thing as 121 here this is verified this is also verified which shows that the value of x and y for the first condition is correct and the value of x and y for the second condition is also correct keep on loving my marys kindly like the video make a comment i'm going to read your comment share subscribe i'm going to really appreciate that because it's going to help my channel grow Thank you so much.